SpaceX's Starship is getting closer to launch, but the future of its Texas Starbase is in doubt. An environmental assessment clears the way for test flights of the giant rocket to orbit, but any missions to Mars may depart from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This is the reason why Texas is planning to make a huge public investment in space for the next two years. How will this investment change the commercial space industry in Texas? And will it be enough to hold Starship flights? All this and more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Starbase's precarious future was first revealed during a gathering hosted by Musk at the site on February 10th of 2022. Beneath a fully stacked 400-foot tall Starship rocket, Musk took the stage and showed a video of a simulated launch from Boca Chica Beach delivering humans from Texas to the Red Planet. The South Texas site seemed poised to lead the way to Mars. Then, Musk addressed a question from a reporter about SpaceX's construction of a new launch site at Kennedy Space Center. Musk, awkwardly forthright, then addressed the future role of Starbase. The future role of Starbase, I think, um, it's, it's well suited to be kind of like our um, advanced R&D location. So it's like where we would try out uh, new designs and uh, new versions of the rocket. Um, and, and, and then I think probably Cape Kennedy would be our sort of main operational uh, launch site. Actually, the idea that Boca Chica Beach would become the gateway to Mars has been associated with the site since its inception. At the 2014 ribbon cutting, Musk positioned the spaceport as a place where history would be made. It very well could be the first person to go to another planet could launch from this location, Musk said. This is really going to be a new kind of spaceport that is optimized for commercial operations. In December of 2020, after the high altitude flight and crash landing of a prototype called SN8, he tweeted, Thank you, South Texas, for your support. This is the gateway to Mars. If SpaceX demotes its Texas spaceport to a research facility, an economic benefit will remain from the demand for skilled workers. But there are an estimated 1,600 employees at the Starbase facilities, and some of the jobs may be moved to Kennedy Space Center. In 2013, we were named by the U.S. Census as the poorest city in America, and that was ironically the same year that SpaceX selected this location for the next launch site. Jessica Tetro, a Brownsville city commissioner and passionate SpaceX supporter says, It really feels like destiny, like something that was always meant to happen, like they were always meant to come here and save us from that situation. And they absolutely did. I just hope that we can continue the momentum and not lose any jobs to Florida or have to relocate any of these families. For this to be real, Texas is planning to make a huge public investment in space. As part of the state's biennial budget process, Texas Governor Greg Abbott has called on the state legislature to provide $350 million to create and fund a Texas Space Commission for the next two years. Abbott stated in his budget document for the 88th legislature, with companies seeking to expand space travel in coming years, continued development of the space industry in the state will ensure Texas remains at the forefront not only in the United States, but the entire world. Further investment will cement Texas as the preeminent location for innovation and development in this rapidly growing industry. Due to increased competition from other states and internationally, further planning and coordination is needed to keep Texas at the cutting edge. Texas has a historic budget surplus this year due to oil prices, inflation, and other factors driving economic growth. The state is projected to have $188.2 billion available in general revenue for funding the business of the state over the 2024 to 2025 period, a surplus of $32.7 billion over spending during the previous two years. In their initial drafts, both the House and the Senate budget bills for this legislative session included the full $350 million in funding for a space commission. The initiative is being led by the chair of the House Appropriations Committee, Texas Representative Greg Bonin, whose district just south of Houston is adjacent to NASA's Johnson Space Center. A source said the bill has all of the support it needs to pass from leaders in both the House and Senate. Bonin's office did not specify what the Texas Space Commission will address, including how the money would be spent. A second source in the Texas legislature said that the details about the commission's funding priorities were expected to be worked out later in the legislative session, which ends on May 29th. 
However, the framework for the proposed Space Commission appears to have been prepared by a Houston-based workforce development organization called TechSpace, which published an annual report in December calling for the creation of such a commission. According to this document, the commission would focus on policy and arranging statewide strategy by monitoring local, state, and federal policies and opportunities and establishing an economic ecosystem for Texas's space enterprises. It would include 15 members, including those appointed by political officials, as well as an appointee, each from SpaceX and Blue Origin. Both of these companies have a sizable presence in the state, with spaceports and large workforces, each dating back nearly two decades. SpaceX founder Elon Musk, in particular, has been attracted to the state in recent years due to its wide open spaces, low taxes, and lenient regulatory environment. SpaceX has built a massive launch facility in South Texas as well as large factories to produce Raptor engines and Starlink satellites in the state. This is in addition to an expansive rocket test facility in McGregor that SpaceX acquired in 2002. Blue Origin, by contrast, has looked elsewhere of late. When it sought to build a large factory for its BE-4 rocket engines a few years ago, a spaceport in Houston was a finalist but the region lost out to Northern Alabama. At the time, according to one Blue Origin official, Alabama showed much more interest and determination in landing the rocket engine factory. The commission will likely seek to ensure that SpaceX and Blue Origin continue to grow their presence in the state and nurture other smaller startups. This will be an extremely large state investment in the commercial space industry. The present leader in such activities is Florida, where the Space Florida Promotional Organization has supported myriad commercial space activities around its space coast and launch industry. Compared to the Texas proposal, Space Florida has a modest annual budget of $12.5 million. Florida leaders made the brilliant decision to invest in the commercial space industry years ago, and that investment has paid off. Anna Alexopoulos Farrar, a vice president of communications for Space Florida, said, Space Florida alone had a $5.9 billion economic impact on the state over the past 15 years, and we project a $1.1 billion impact every year starting this year. It's not surprising that other states want to emulate our proven model, and we welcome the challenge from our friends in Texas. Competition yields the best outcomes for both businesses and taxpayers. The proposed commission plays into a political rivalry between Abbott and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Both Republicans may run for president during the 2024 election, and they have been engaging in one-upmanship during the last year or two. Much of this tit-for-tat activity has involved social issues and immigration, but both governors like to brag about their states being business-friendly as well. Such an investment in Texas commercial space may provoke a response in Florida. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX, and as always, if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, my team and I will see you next time.